What's up, y'all? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Coach Chad here, CEO of the Next Level Coaching Academy. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the new uh, the new intro. I know it's been a long time coming, but uh, we finally got it done. We, meaning uh, Kyle, Kyle and I, Kyle Rap, um, is the individual who helps me with the uh, with podcast growth and, and editing and and things of that nature. Shout out, Kyle. But uh, let's get into this one. And uh, you guys probably hear I'm, I'm talking it in a more calm tone today. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling really good about this, this episode. And uh, I'm feeling as though I want to provide a more calming sense as, uh, as we go through it. And uh, what we're going to be talking about today is, is finding yourself. And um, you're probably like, wow, Chad, this is a interesting topic. You're not, you're not really the woo-woo type, or you're not really the one to talk about these more mindset topics, but uh, I felt compelled. I felt compelled to give my viewpoint on it, because I feel like my viewpoint is different than what's being pushed and different from what I'm seeing. I don't know if it's just my generation. I'm, I'm 27 years old. I don't know if it's just my generation that's having trouble finding themselves or, or using different ways to do it. Or if I don't, I don't know if it's just the fitness industry, um, but I'm not liking what I'm seeing. And uh, I'll expand on that. And I feel like there's a better way to go about in quotes, finding yourself. All right. So here's what I'm seeing. And like I said, I don't know if it's a generational thing. I don't know if it's just the fitness industry. Uh, but here's here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of individuals um, trying to in quotes find themselves, and I'm 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 assessing the way that they're going about it, and I'm seeing that there's a lot of tools being used, which is basically just drugs, using drugs, um, or really just uh, thinking, like sitting, thinking, using tools. And uh, really just pondering, like, who am I? What do I want to become? And, and, and a lot of it has to do with just thinking, thinking about who am I and trying to answer that question, which is a, a very hard question to answer. And uh, I don't think we ever I don't think we ever answer that question. I do think it's a, a journey of self-discovery. Um, I will say that I feel like I've been lucky in the sense that I've been able to really discover myself, not find myself, because I'll get into my viewpoint in a minute here, but I've been able to really discover myself through business. And I started business very early on. I started at the age of 19. And uh, it was something I fell in love with right away after watching Christian Guzman videos and after Caitlin introduced me into this online fitness world. And uh, I really felt like I grew into my own um, as a result of, of, of business. So I feel like Maybe I just have a different view on, in quotes, finding yourself, and maybe I just ha I have had a different approach, but I really want to talk about, like I said, what I'm seeing in, I don't know if, like I said, it's my generation or for the fitness industry, we'll just call it my generation. I just want to really compare and contrast the way that I've been able to go on this path of self-discovery and feel very good about the direction in which I'm going versus how I'm seeing my counterparts, my, my, the individuals in my generation doing it. Because I'm, I'm not, I, I don't think it's just an opinion, but I don't think it's the best way to go about it. And, and, and you know what they say about opinions, but I feel like I had to share and I hope this podcast does help somebody um, just, you know, get on that path of self-discovery and, and, and feel really good about it. Because as I've said, and I've said multiple times, I, I don't like the way that is being pushed right now by society or my generation or whatever you want to call it. So here's the compare, here's the compare and contrast. So what I'm seeing from my generation and what I'm seeing from society is uh, young individuals who are trying to discover themselves are doing it through tools, which is drugs. <laughs> and they're doing it through sitting and thinking and, and pondering. And I'm not seeing a lot of doing and failing and overcoming challenges. And I feel like because I got into business so early and I just fell flat on my face, I don't know if you guys have heard my story, but it's episode one. I would definitely go back and listen. It took me about three years to get full time in online fitness coaching. And throughout those three years, it was just failure after failure after failure after failure. But I would get up and I would try again. And I would get up and I would try again. And I would get up and I would try again. And I would overcome challenge and challenge and challenge and set goal and goal and goal. And I felt like that is what really helped me discover myself. Not, not just the fact that I love business, which is definitely a part of my identity, but 
pushing myself through those challenges and pushing myself to continue to strive for my goal and, and, and never stopping, but failing and keeping and, and getting back up and trying again and trying again and trying again. That really showed me who I was. It really showed me what, who I stood for. It really helped me define what I believe in, in my core values and my, in my core tenets. Right. And, and it helped develop me as an individual in my belief of, of self-discovery, my belief of finding yourself is through doing. It not and not doing drugs. <laughs> that trust me, that you're not finding yourself doing doing drugs. Uh, but but what I'm seeing with our current generation is there's not a lot of doing. There's not a lot of taking action. There's not a lot of pushing forward. There's not a lot of challenging yourself. If anything, it's 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 being touted on. If anything, it's being looked down upon to challenge yourself, to try, to have big goals, to work hard, to actually put in the work. And that's why I feel like our generation is so lost. That is why. Because I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's society or what, what's happening, but I really feel that, that doing the work and trying hard and trying new things and failing and getting up and trying again is something that is looked down upon as bad or egotistical or frowned upon in today's day and age. And um, I, I think that is the big reason why people are having a hard time with this, answering this question, who am I and why am I here? I mean, we don't know unless we do, right? Just sitting there and trying to think it out. If you, if, if you haven't actually experienced it, it's, that's not just going to pop up in your head, right? If you're sitting there and thinking about who am I? What am I supposed to do? But you've never actually done anything or tried anything, then logically, right? If we're just looking at this logically, it's not just going to magically pop up in your head and say, oh, that's it. You got to do that thing. That's, that's who you are. You won't know unless you experience. So this may seem like a simple message, but like I said, I, I felt very compelled today to create this because I think we've lost that simple message. And I don't know where, where it's been lost or why it's been lost, but we find ourselves through this journey of self-discovery of, of adventure, right? I mean, like think back to like our roots. All we did every single day, like prior to this modern age, was we would challenge ourselves and we would try to discover new things, right? Like think back like thousands and thousands of years, right? We would try to discover new tools. We would try to discover new resources. We would try to discover new land. And with this journey of discovery came lots of individual challenges and challenges for humanity. And as we grew through those challenges and worked through those challenges, we started to define ourselves as a species, right? And in and, and a culture, in and, 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 and many different cultures, subcultures within, within the human race, right? And I think we've got, I think we've lost that. And I really do feel like we've lost that. So if you are struggling to find yourself or struggling to really get direction in your life, it's got to be through doing. It's got to be through different challenges. It's got to be through failing, right? And, and it could be anything. It could be simple. I mean, heck, go challenge yourself. Go try to run a half marathon. Go try to run a full marathon. Go try to start that business. Go try to do that hike that you've always wanted to do. Go try to do skydiving. Go try to do all these different things. And, and, and through those experiences, and through those failures and through those challenges, that is how you'll define your own character. And that is how you'll define yourself as who you are. I define myself as an individual who's extremely passionate, who's extremely diligent, who's extremely detail-oriented, who's extremely goal-oriented, who thinks very big. I can define myself very, very easily. But the reason I can define myself so easily it's because I wake up every day and I put myself in front of challenges and I put my feet to the fire and I overcome those challenges. And as I overcome those challenges, I learn something about myself and I say, huh, didn't know that about myself. I guess I am that way. And that is how I've developed over this, 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 this self-development journey. And to wrap all this up, I'm not going to make this too long, but to wrap all this up, here's how I think about it. There's no X that marks the spot when you're trying to answer that question, who am I and why am I here? And what do I mean by that? And I'll say that again, there is no X that marks the spot. And I think what our current generation is trying to do is they're trying to find that buried treasure. They're trying to find that X that marks the spot and they are in their lost trying to find it. But the thing is, what if it's already there? What if we change, what if we change self discover to self, what if we change our perception on self discovery from trying to find the X that marks the buried treasure to you are, you are already the person you need to be 
but you're a seedling who's trying to sprout into a flower. I think it's a much different perception of trying to view it this way. Because when you think of it as the X marks the spot, what that implies is that you don't find yourself until you find that buried treasure. But what if you never find the buried treasure? And what if, what if the buried treasure is already there? And let's move to the other, let's move to the other way of thinking of it. What if instead you're just a seedling and you already have everything that you need and you just need to learn how to sprout into a flower? And that's how I view self-discovery. You already have everything innate, right? The seedling already has the flower within, within it. It just needs to learn how to sprout out of the seed and expand the flower. And the same thing is true with you. You already have everything within you. If you want to be a business owner, if you want to start your online fitness coaching business, that is already in you. You just need to learn through trial and error and failure and overcoming challenges on how to take the seedling and make it into a flower and make it bloom. So I'm going to wrap this all up and I hope all of this makes sense. And like I said, I know this is not my traditional podcast. And I know this is not traditionally what I talk about, but I felt very compelled to talk about it today. If you're on a journey of self-discovery, which I believe we are always on for the rest of our life, we're always trying to learn more, more about ourselves and, and define ourselves and redefine ourselves and uh, make sure that we're on a path that feels aligned with the life that we are trying to create. That's my belief. But if you are on that journey and you've committed to being on that journey, there is no X that marks the spot. There is no buried treasure. No amount of quote unquote tools or drugs is going to make that thought pop up, a pop up in your mind. No amount of sitting there and thinking about what your life means is going to have exactly what you're looking for pop up in your mind. You are going to learn these things through trial and error trying multiple different experiences, trying maybe multiple different businesses, trying maybe multiple different relationships, professional careers, adventures, experiences, trying it all, learning throughout the way, checking in with yourself. That's still a important piece, a part, a, an important piece of the puzzle here. Checking in with yourself. What did you think of that experience? What did you think of the overcoming that challenge and continuing to narrow down the path that you want to create your life with? So hopefully, hopefully this was helpful, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you took something away. Uh, I would love if you guys could let me know if you want me to do more stuff like this because I love talking this philosophy stuff. I really do enjoy it. I also equally love business as well. So if you guys would like me to mix this into the traditional podcast loop, let me know. Shoot me a message in the DMs and we could chit chat about it. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.